Okay, question nine is looking at calculus again. Okay, sorry, I'm struggling with sinuses. So, question nine uh, says determine f prime, so the derivative of f, from first principle if we've been given the function of 2x squared minus 3x. Okay, so if we look at first principle here, we've got to use this limit formula. Okay, so you just need to know how to substitute your function in at this point if you're not too sure what this whole limit thing is. Okay. What I like to first do before I do first principle, use the shortcut method to find the derivative here so we know in the heading which or where we're heading to, okay, so that you can make sense of your final answer. So uh, we can see that when we take the derivative, we take the exponent times it by the front minus one. So we're going to get f prime of x equals to 4x, okay, now this is to the power of one. So one times negative three stays negative three, and then when I minus one off here, this becomes zero. So this whole thing becomes one, okay? And that's my derivative, okay? So that's where we're gonna to get to using first principle. So to find first principle, we're going to write out our formula, okay? Now, wherever you see an x, you're going to substitute x plus h into your formula, okay? Uh, sorry, I'm not supposed to put the equal sign, that's just supposed to be a uh, divide. So at the top here, we're going to substitute x plus h into this place, so two, x plus h squared minus 3x plus h okay now I need to minus off the original function so minus put it in brackets so that it makes it easier so that you don't forget to carry the negative over 2 minus 3x okay and that's all over h okay now we need to uh, expand and manipulate every or not manipulate but expand everything out to see what cancels so right again the limit as h tends to 0 Okay, and then let's see, if I expand this over here, it's going to be 2, it's going to be x squared plus 2xh uh, plus h squared, okay, minus, let's do this one over here, 3x, um, see, I'm going to carry the negative, 3h, okay, now we take the negative into the brackets, so minus 2x squared plus 3x, and that's all divided by h, okay. So, a quick hint for when you're doing this, your original function, these values, or well, this one and this one, has to cancel out with, with the same from when we substituted x plus h in, okay, so that's what we're always trying to find. So now let's have a look. We'll have the limit as h tends to 0 of 2x squared. Aha, we found that 2x. Okay, then we'll have plus 4xh. Okay, we're starting to head in the right direction because we needed a 4x somewhere. Okay, and then we'll have uh, pl uh, plus 2h squared minus 3x. Okay, that one's looking familiar. Okay, minus 3h. That's also looking familiar. Minus 2x squared. Uh, plus 3x all over h. Okay, so write the limit again as h tends to 0. Okay, so now we can see this 2x squared is going to cancel with minus 2x squared. Uh, then this minus 3x over here is going to cancel with this plus 3x over there. Okay, so what are we left with? We're left with 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3h all over h. Aha! Okay, so you need to get to a step where Every term has an h in at the top so that we can take h out as a common factor to cancel at the bottom. Why? Because we can't divide by 0 at the bottom when we substitute 0 in from the limit. Okay, so the limit again is h tends to 0 of h 4x plus 2h minus 3. Okay, we're getting very close to what we found in the beginning there. Okay, and then divided by h. So the h is cancelled out. Now what we do is we substitute 0 into wherever we see an h, so we're going to have 4x plus 2 times 0 minus 3, okay, and then we can see that our derivative f prime of x is going to be equal to 4x minus 3, okay, and that's what we got at the top here, okay. Now, let's have a look at 9.2.1, they're asking us to find the derivative, so dy dx, find the rate of change of this function, and it's given over there. So we can use the easy method for this one. Okay, so let me just write it out here again. Y equals to 4x to the 5 minus 6x to the 4 plus 3x to the power of 1. Okay, now the power method says that we take our exponent, we multiply it by the front. Okay, so multiply and then we minus 1 off. Okay, and we're going to do this with all of them. Multiply to the front, minus 1. This one, multiply to the front, minus 1. So, let's see. 5 times 4 gives me 
20 x 5 minus 1 is to the power of 4 okay now minus 4 times 6 6 12 18 that's 24 okay 4 minus 1 is now 3 so it's x to the power of 3 then 3x to the power of 1 so 1 times 3 is going to give me 3 1 minus 1 is 0 anything to the power of 0 is just 1 okay so it's 3 times 1 and therefore we get our derivative okay dy dx equal to this expression over here okay another way of writing dy dx is just writing y prime okay so those are equivalent all right now looking at the last one it says d underscore x and then in brackets they've given us that complicated function over there so what does this mean once again it's just a fancy way of writing we're looking for the derivative with respect to x of the following function okay so what i'm first going to do is i'm going to get this into a really simple form meaning the anything that has a cube root or anything like that i'm going to make into an exponent and anything that's at the bottom of the fraction i'm going to take to the top of the fraction okay so if we convert um our cube root uh, cube root over here to an exponent okay notice that the three goes to the bottom of the fraction so what do we end up with we end up here with we're looking for dy or let's say d dx because that's what this over here represents of minus x to the power of 1 over 3 okay all over 2 plus now i'm going to take this to the top but only the x squared i'm leaving the 3 at the bottom okay 1 over 3 and then at the top here i'm multiplying it by x to the power of negative 2 why because when we take our exponent to the top it now becomes negative wait have i done this wrong aha sorry this is supposed to be on the outside which now means when i manipulate this this is supposed to be 9 why because the 2 distributes to the 1 1 squared is 1 2 distributed to the 3 becomes 9 and 2 distributed to the x becomes x squared okay there we go i thought i had something wrong there okay now that i have this okay there's two ways we can either get the common denominator then do the derivative or because they split by a um, plus sign i can do the derivative of each one on its own okay so i think that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it so i'm going to do d dx of minus x over or to the power of one over three all over two plus d dx of x minus 2 all over 9 okay so now we just apply our rule we take our exponent we multiply it to the front and then we minus 1 from it so we're going to have 1 over 3 negative 1 over 3 multiplied by x now 1 minus 3 i mean 1 over 3 minus 1 is going to give me minus 2 over 3 okay and then this whole thing is all over 2 plus Okay, now we do the derivative of this side over here. So we're going to have, take the exponent, multiply it down, and then minus 1. So we're going to have minus 2x to the power of minus 3, all over 9. Okay, and therefore, if we then simplify this, we can see that this 3 will multiply with the 2. So we're going to have negative um, x to the power of negative 2 over 3, all over 6. Plus, now if we do this one over here, we'll just end up with minus 2 over 9 x to the power of negative 3 okay and you can leave your answer just like that okay and that's how we go about doing question 9 okay if you found this video helpful for calculus then please go check out the other videos i have for the other past papers i did for last year uh, if you guys have any questions regarding this question then please leave them in the comment section down below i'll get back to them as soon as i can if you did enjoy the video then please leave a thumbs up as well it does help me out quite a lot if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on that notification uh, bell so that you are notified every time I release a new video. And remember, it's never too late to have an OSC moment.